What's good, sports fans? My name is Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Go ahead and subscribe to that podcast wherever you listen to podcasts at. Now, today I'm coming to you with my reaction to the New Orleans Pelicans defeating the Milwaukee Bucks. And this was somewhat of a crazy game. Pelicans get out to this great start, hitting threes from all over the place. We defending well, getting back on defense. First quarter is just a massive run. We end the quarter on a 12-0 run. Second quarter, we have an 11-0 run during that quarter. We get up by 29 points at one point during the game. Third quarter, Milwaukee starts storming back, getting back into the game. Eventually, in the fourth quarter, even cut it down to five at one point. But the Pelicans were able to hold on to the lead to win the game. And I think that says something about maturity. So let's go about looking at the individual players. Got to start with Zion. Been a while since I did that. My first Pelicans video of the year. Had to let that one out. Zion had a big game today. I love the all-around game that he had. And he made big plays during that third quarter when Milwaukee was trying to storm back. So there was a play where Milwaukee started to storm back. Giannis is just eating Steven Adams' lunch. And you're like, man, we're going to let go of another lead? One this big. And Zion just put his head down, made a few plays at the rim, and really calmed us down and stopped the momentum of Milwaukee. There was one play in particular where he's one-on-one -on -one against Giannis on the baseline and does a reverse to the left hand using the rim to protect himself from the block. And I think that play really calmed down the run of Milwaukee. And his all-around game was great today. Made his free throws. That's a big thing with Zion. If he makes his free throws... He's going to be productive. You can't really stop him because he's so big, so strong, so athletic. And, of course, we want him to develop more of his game, get a you know a shot outside the paint. But for right now, he's so down on the inside, making free throws, attack the rim, he'll be good to go. Brandon Ingram, when they're spacing, which there was today, Brandon Ingram is unstoppable. Pick and roll, iso, whatever you want to do with them, if they're spacing, if you have to respect the shooters, you can't stop Brandon Ingram. Not even a great defender like Middleton or Drew Holiday. When you have pick and roll, you can give him the switch, get a mismatch. He can do what he wants to do. We saw that today. You know, he also was very good from the free throw line as well. Got to give a big shout out to my man Steven Adams. 20 rebounds today. That's bananas. He was big on the boards. Without him, we do not dominate in the way we dominated. He did a good job of defending against Giannis in the first half at least. Right? But today was definitely a coming out party for Lonzo Ball. What? He was two points shy of his career high today and was making his jumper. Now, we know he's not going to shoot like this every game, but if he can be consistent at 35, 36, 37% from three, that makes such a big difference in our offense. And I love what he was doing today, shooting the ball with confidence. Loved the way he was just getting the ball up and down the floor. He's always been great with having vision. Made some good defensive plays as well. Eric Bledsoe. If he can shoot like this, Yo, it's going to be a long season for all New Orleans opponents if Eric Bussell can do what he did tonight. Now, for Milwaukee, they start off really slow. I thought that maybe even they were out last night on Bourbon Street, maybe got them a few hand grenades. Don't know what they was doing, but they started off really, really sloppy. Third quarter, Giannis started rolling, and they got downhill. But it was just too little too late, and I like how New Orleans held them off. Uh, Drew Holiday has returned to New Orleans. Thank you, Drew, for all the memories and what you did for New Orleans. Fell short today, but he reminded us of why he is so good. Played good defense in this game. Also was able to score points doing what he does. Um, Chris Middleton didn't have the typical Chris Middleton game, but they just fell behind so early that they had to fight their way back. And if we played them again, I don't know if we've already played them this year yet. Got to look back at the schedule, but if we play them again, it'll be a tough one. But great game by the Pelicans today. We can continue this momentum. We've got a two-game win streak now. We're beating Washington and now beating Milwaukee. We can shoot with confidence, move the ball, get back on defense. The basics. We have enough talent to win, right? So I can see us turning around, getting ourselves back to 500 and getting back into playoff contention. So until next time, go real or go home.